wow, 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 greeting Zimbabwe, Africa and the rest of the world. You know how we do it on the highest praise. We give you the highest ranked artists in the country, in the nation. Zimbabwe Mabwe. Today, like any other day, we're taking you onto another level. You're going to enjoy this one because Itori Ngoroye Munana in the studio. Don't touch that down. This is the highest praise. Like I said, in the building today, we have an amazing artist who popped out of nowhere. Many a times we hear artists in a certain group. Well, maybe it's because we don't know. But for me, I didn't know about it. I didn't even know about the group. But out of nowhere, they came onto the scene with the banger and they've sustained the momentum. We've got none other than <laughs> Rudo in the building. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Is it Mufundis? Yes, Lady Pastor Rudo. Ah. My husband is a pastor, sir. So. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. I'm How are you? I'm good. I'm happy. Yeah? I'm lovely. People have always been texting and saying, let's have Rudo. Is let's it? Yes. Wow. Whenever I post things on social media, people come to and say, fine. We marua. <laughs> so nowadays, I Thank don't know for artists dig. No, I just go into the comments <laughs> and they give me Oh, wow. Story. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah. I, I really cannot complain. God has been wonderful. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. We need more people like you, positive vibes in the nation. <laughs> hey, negative energy. But Thank you. Thank you. I feel like it. Level. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Who's Rudo? Where is he coming from? And tell us about your background. Wow. Who's Rudo? That question is amazing because <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to answer it. But maybe I would say Rudo is Gamaliel's wife. Uh huh. She's a Christ lover. Mm. Uh, she's a very jovial individual. I can tell. Short and precise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And um, I'm a musician. Mm. I'm a motherpreneur. Oh, nice. Yes, I'm a mom and an entrepreneur. Okay. That's what okay. it means. Okay. Um, I, I can be what I have to be at a certain occasion for a certain reason. Mm -hmm. um, so I can be a counselor i can be a preacher can be a singer i can be a prayer warrior mm -hmm. so yeah i think that answers you wonderful i, I like it the energy <laughs> the vibe it's not the obvious you know you put in there coming up with these different words so it's good stuff we love yes, it yes yes how does the music journey start for you and does it start from kukreshi uh, for you, how did it start? I started singing when I was four. I would say four because I remember at four. Ah. Uh, and my mom used to coach me because okay. I used to sing Shingisai Suluma, Fungisai, Ivy Kompo. Then as I grew old, I started to sing Betha uh, Nipasinawako. So she was my coach and she was teaching me. She was making me sing. So I used to sing at church. Uh -huh. And by the grace of God, um, all the time when I would sing, people would come and put in money. Oh. So that money, I would love to believe that was God providing for me and my mom. Because uh -huh. that money is what we then would use for so it kept on growing. I would say my mom then weaned me from her being my coach to giving me to G in 2013. Mm. That's which is when I joined Joyful Praise. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, I started from four until now and I think I'm still going. So Joyful Praise was in existence before you came? Yes. Ah. Yes. Tell us a bit about Joyful Praise. How does it get <laughs> formed? and your husband formed it way before you guys met yes what happened was i had always been praying i really need you to put me in a certain group because i feel like my mom always would say i've been coaching you but i feel like you need a coach mm -hmm. so i would pray and say i want the mm group. -hmm. so then suddenly i was best friends with my husband then mm -hmm. and so he was like oh, i want to start a choir he didn't have a name by then he just knew that he's supposed to be praised so then I was like, yeah, I would love to, but I'm not sure if my mom would say yes. Mm. So he came around, um, uh, he started it then in December 2018. Then I joined January. Mm. 
2014. So I would say 2014. I say it was, I, I, it started when I was there, not completely in because I knew it was going to start mm. in December. So I then joined in 2014, January. Ah, you guys were not even an, an item yet. No, we were best friends. Wow. Okay, my best guy. BFFs. <laughs> ah, but did you have a hunch with maybe one day or you it was purely yes. friendship? I'd have to write a book about that. <laughs> it was a long, it's a long story, an amazing one. Um, we were best friends because I was dating by then. Ah. So I had principled myself not to date two guys. Ah. So because I had that one, I couldn't say yes to him. Mm -hmm. So he was dating me alone. Ah. You understand? I don't egg. So then I had two friends on him like that Ish. and he knew it. So he waited 2013, 2014, later Okondo Pandas Ah, interesting storylines. Mm. That's why we love to bring artists here. We get to know some of these nitty gritties, which we don't know when you guys are standing on the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're now into Joyful Praise, uh, Majoina Chikwata. Tell us about the journey up until you get to release your first DVD and from knowing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Minana, that project yeah. joyful praise one was that the first project that joyful praise recorded or you guys had done other stuff that didn't pop joyful praise has gone through a roller coaster mm. of seasons the ngore Minana is not even the first one we have done one in 2014. oh it never came out we didn't have even pictures but we hired camera people Aye. nothing came out we were looking good my guy Aye. But no one knows it because there was no picture. 2015, we then did, because 2014, we said, let's do 2015 um, a, a, a digital something. Mm. So we did seven songs. Okay. We tried to push them. That's when Pakazo Tanga Kutabana, Kana Suvarado, Kava Kudara Dara, Neuno Gochemi, Yavi Pap. But then it didn't push because we were not yet well known. Plus, wow. I think. Uh, success goes hand in hand with process. Mm. We were still growing. Yeah. So God didn't allow us to pop then. Ish. So then 2016, we then did our first DVD that kind of came out mm. at Gweru Theatre. I think past YouTube, only two, one or two songs. <laughs> we tried, it was wow. better. Then 2016, 2017, we were like, ah, we, we can't do anything. Mm. Then suddenly, uh, my husband was like, let's try to do a stadium event because people were now knowing us. So we felt like we are known to yeah. that level. Masika. We prayed, my guy. Uh. We were praying, God confirming. Mm. I remember one night we were in the ground and we were praying and God said, and my husband was like, God, if, if tomorrow is going to be a success, I don't remember what he said, but he said, do this, do this. And then it happened. Mm. We prayed. There were some guys who were rehearsing for rugby. They were yeah. looking at us because we were fired up with anointing. Yes. The Saturday came. The sound guys can't get. <laughs> Nothing was in place. The wow. event was meant to start at 4. It started at 10 p.m. You lie. It ended at 2 a.m. That's when we met Pastor Tan. He was patient. He was like, guys, I'm going to be there. Wow. It ended at 2. People were cold sitting there in the corner, corner. of the stadium. So. Ish. That's when we knew, ah, God is taking us somewhere. Wow. Then 2018, we then recorded. I will tell you the truth. We cried on the Friday before Saturday because mm. we couldn't believe the lights, the stage. We were like, is this us? us finally. Really? What yeah. we had requested for from Pastor Bapiro mm -hmm. and what he did. Wow. And he kept saying, God told me. It's like, wow. Shout out to Pastor B. Hallelujah. Yeah. We love you, sir. Mm. So it then happened that... All the songs that we thought were going to be hits, mm. they never became hits. Of course, Aya. they did, yes, but not Ngorem Nana. Mm. Ngorem Nana, even when I sang that song, afterwards, I was like to my husband, this is the most horrible song I've ever sung. It was, it was difficult to sing. It was boring. Hey, but then that's the song that God used to. Which song on the project were you personally thinking was going to pop? Um, there was Ayabulala. Ah. There was... Um, um, Anovuranzira, but ah, yeah, 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 yeah. We were, we were, we were contemplating on the songs. Um, um, you know the chico Samatenga, you see. But then uh, they were raised by Ngorem Nana those ones. So, and then we then did uh, recording Jesus 
saves uh -huh. the one that we then came to harara to dupana na makanyanya banani avanga vatongo mari vakuonererwa because takazo shamsika kwa kuzika mwe mwe makanyanya kwa kuzika mwa iyo kwa bana aiwa mari bana ishe jesu it was amazing it's wow. been a good journey what caused you guys to enjoy the process because someone else would have given up your cycle is not unique in its own format you look even in the circular world mm -hmm. groups like Mavigi Zolo did mm -hmm. like three times. They failed. Many other artists yeah. in Holy Day, Narupo Pajnez in the circular circles. Mm -hmm. If you talk to him, he'll tell you, no, Ndagato Tanga, Chirichkoro. He was mm -hmm. trying. Yeah. But then when he did that Muku Junior song, Kuka Magafela, mm -hmm. things started to happen. Yeah. What caused you guys, especially from a Christian perspective, to say, we failed the stadium? Taita is mm. my picture tatoro mm. and disappear. Mm. Why did you continue? I think we've got a wonderful leader. Mm. He's a patient person. He's one person who will not give up. Giving up is not in his uh, vocabulary. Mm. So because he's a persistent individual, Pastor Gamaliel Blessing Madindi, mm. he kept on pushing because he felt like what he failed on this year, he will make sure he won't fail next year. Wow. So he kept on um improving even in terms of connection mm -hmm. uh plus i because he has got a good relationship with god as well mm -hmm. god kept on telling him what to do who to connect with that's why i even told you pastor Mapiro said god said wow. it's because in the prayer closet pastor gamale would have talked to god mm -hmm. so uh his consistency and patience and persistence it, it's like anointing flowing from the head to the mm -hmm. so if the head is that persistent there is no way us followers are going to be giving up as it so because he was a person who pushes mm -hmm. we would push with him wow yeah interesting we're going to end it there on the first segment when we do come back we're going to be talking about how they're sustaining the dynamics in the group it's one thing to be a solo artist True. it's another thing to be a group we've seen many groups pop up over the past couple of years mm -hmm. and they all disappear in a short run mm -hmm. but these guys seem to be going strong solid we we'll yeah. also talk about how they shifted from arari don't touch that we shifted from gueru <laughs> to arari yes. don't touch that dial when we do come back we'll also flex it a little bit with the pasta in the building this is the highest praise Welcome back to it. This is the highest praise in the building. You are Pastor Rudo all the way from the Joyful Praise. The most happening outfit in Zimbabwe at the moment. Mfundis, mm -hmm. tell us about the transition. You've popped. I'm talking to Minister Wenyasha Jingonu. Mm -hmm. You guys worked with him a little. You talk, You worked with Minister Tech Shuozama. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, okay, these guys are based in Gweru. Oh, okay, fine. Then... Time you found, but then I hear, ah, squad a show your guara. Yes. And not just squad as in the two of you, you and your husband. No, mm -hmm. but the entire crew. What happened there? Because they which kid removed in this way. And then having all these other people coming with you. Mm -hmm. And I'm told you were staying with them. Yeah. How did you manage to do that and convince their parents to say we are moving? Well, we felt as Joyful Praise that we had, I would say, exhausted Gweru. Mm -hmm. Not to say it in a proud way, mm -hmm. but we had gone everywhere in Gweru. Mm -hmm. And we were beginning to be invited in Harare, mostly. So it was like almost every weekend we have to come to Harare. Mm -hmm. Then we realized economically it's not working in our favor. Mm -hmm. So my husband was like, we need to move. Because already in Gweru we were staying with some full-time JPCs. Because okay. they're part-time and they're full-time. So we thought ah, we've got enough people mm -hmm. to go into Harare and then do our gigs properly in Harare. Mm -hmm. So that's what that was the one of the main reasons why we had to move. Then when we moved to Harare, we arrived and by the grace of God, the gigs that we were getting kept on sustaining us. Wow. And we then thought, ah, let's let's incorporate people because people were asking, are you going to ever do auditions for Harare Wara Wara? So we then did auditions in Harare. So there's some um, part-time JPCs who are in Gweru. When there's a serious, serious event, sometimes they come. Mm. 
Okay. But it's still going the way we had planned. We then auditioned people, they came, and yeah, we are now big. Mm. Wonderful. How do you sustain it? In the first segment that you talked about being an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. and yeah, but I've been on what you about for you. Tell us about, tell us about <laughs> that balance. Listening. Yes, I was listening. <laughs> uh, tell us about that balance there. Uh, because some people say uh, you can't do music 100% without another backdrop to say, to support it okay. in Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. if you're not at a certain level. And you guys are actually having full-time yes. musicians in your crew. How do you sustain that? So my husband is the one who builds legacies and unlock destinies. Mm. So there are some full-timers in JPC who are gifted hand-wise. Okay. So they're nail techs, they're makeup artists, they're hairdressers. Mm. So being a full-time JPC does not stop you from doing those things. Because mm. if you are self-employed, it means you know you can calculate your time. So yeah. that's how I manage. Okay. So because he's a good mentor to gifted people, mm. we still know when it's rehearsal time, when it's gig time, and when I have to hustle up for money. Mm -hmm. So I know how to channel my time. Mm -hmm. So the balance becomes easy because I focus on rehearsal, then I finish, then maybe, especially me, my office is my phone. Okay. I use my phone to communicate with people, clients, market, blah, blah, blah. Then maybe I'm going to go to the house and go to the house and Okay. Yeah, so that's how I balance my stuff. But he, Pastor Gamayo is a good mentor. He will teach you to, to, you have to be a person who knows what you want at a certain time. Mm. That's why there's a thing called timetable. Okay. You know, rehearsal starts at 5.30. What are you going to be doing from 8 a.m.? Two five thirty. Hmm. So definitely, you would have to balance. Wow, interesting. I think yeah, mango is dynamic because it's an interesting setup. Not many, even some of the top acts in Zimbabwe mm -hmm. are not able to put someone on full time. Yeah, they will put yeah. you there. Would yeah, would wango. But shimono riza kusamwe. Ask an entire gig. Sha, You talk about rehearsal. How many? How often do you guys rehearse? Given that it's a huge team 50 plus people now we rehearse four days wow five i would say five because sometimes we skip friday because mm -hmm. um we call him daddy mm -hmm. or ep it mm -hmm. depends on what you want but sometimes daddy says um friday we need to rest okay. because obviously saturday we've got an event ah. and sunday maybe so sometimes we skip friday mm -hmm. sometimes we do it but mm -hmm. it's usually five days you guys have a church it's a movement, okay. it's not a church. Okay. It, it was given birth to by our intercessions as Joyful Praise Choir. Okay. So what was happening is sometimes that it would feel like we need to go online as we pray. So we realized that a lot of people were logging in and they were praying with us, but they were asking, is this a church? May mm. we please come to your rehearsals? So because we do private rehearsals and not open rehearsals, we then decided we can't bring people in, but let's just create a movement okay. because he's a great preacher. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we would go for rehearsals and then find ourselves the whole rehearsal we are doing church. Ah. And it builds our character. Okay. Even when we then go on stage, we know what we're doing because we've fed the word, mm -hmm. we've prayed, we've worshipped. Mm -hmm. So then he then said, I'm going to start Joyful Praise City. Okay. A movement where everybody from everywhere can come, feed and um, uh, go through our spiritual process, pray with us, and then go back to wherever they are. Okay. We are pastors at Vich Life Tabernacle, okay. a church that is led by our dad, Apostle Madindi. Okay. Yes. From Gweru. From Gweru. Ah. Mm -hmm. So you lead that Ari chapter. Here we feed this. into that. Yes, exactly. Ah. Exactly. Okay. So uh -huh. I think that's clear. Many people say that it's yeah. a movement. It's not a church. It's a ah. movement. Yes. Okay. Still on the spiritual element, how do you find time with God personally? Let's put away the drama of the choir mm -hmm. and even your husband. How does Rudu model herself to say, this is my time? Some say I wake up, Sharon was here, she says I pray during was it 8 or 11, something like that in the morning. Mm -hmm. That's when she said she shuts down everything else and she has time with God. Mm -hmm. Some have times to wake up how do you do it so sometimes i don't have time to wake up in the morning and pray long hours mm -hmm. because we sleep in the morning instead mm -hmm. of sleeping in the night because we come back home late mm -hmm. so 
let's say we arrive at home at 10, 11. Then we have our dinner, dinner morning, <laughs> dinner breakfast. Maybe between one and two, mm -hmm. when we don't have anything to do, that's when I find my time to pray. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's quiet times. There's not much noise. Mm -hmm. And so I can also well have my meditation and prayer. Okay. Then Pastor Gamaliel always teaches me, you don't have to have, we don't have specific time to pray to God. Mm -hmm. Every time is talking time with God. So sometimes I pray on my way to my office. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I pray when we are in rehearsal. Sometimes I pray at home, but I make sure that I know that the whole day I would have prayed two, three, four hours. Mm -hmm. It may not be from four to seven, but I have an hour, maybe from four to five, does later from two to three, does later from seven to eight, then two to, you know. Oh, uh -huh. oh. But you make time. I make it's time. It's critical so that when you minister, you minister from I, I, often. I, I don't want to, I, I don't want to give God time. I want to give business time. Mm. God has to be my everyday thing. He has to be my staple food. Wow. Then I give anything else time. Yes. You understand? Wow. That's why every minute for me, it's I'm talking to God, I'm having conversations. Then there are times I then get into the closet and talk to him. You talk about coming home late hours. But mm -hmm. how do you balance? By the grace of God, I've got the most amazing in loves, in laws. Okay. The granddad and the grandmommy. Mm. They're the ones that stay with our babies in wow. grief. Because when we moved here, our kids were already going to school. Mm. So I have never live, loved the idea of shifting Shift. kids. So plus, vakura wana gogo, wana utumuka vatula bipi yato kwira. Dabakuto gwara chino nechino. So we left them there. They love their grannies. They are loved. Saka, they come for holidays. Okay. So what we made sure of is we don't leave our kids. Mm. I don't like the idea of leaving my child with a maid or a help okay. because I want to teach my child what I want. Mm. So when they are here, we move with them. Mm -hmm. If we're going to Vic Falls, we go with them. By so doing, we then realize they have the same passions with us. And they have an appreciation of what you're trying to do. Oh my God, too yeah. much. I remember one time when my husband, when my son was asked at school, what do you want to be? He said, I want to be like my daddy and I want to be a musician. I sing at Joyful Place. Wow. So he's already seeing himself like that mm -hmm. because he goes everywhere. He started, his father started to make him sing on stages, blah, blah, blah. So we go with him everywhere. So even when we come back, at 10 p.m. I know to go to the but I know to go to the Okay. Is it the same one you were seeing with Anut? Yes. Ah, and the small one. The small yes. one is a bishop. Ah. He loves praying. Come on, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Teach them. Pastor Stoyan, that's a very good uh, yeah. principle. Thank you. Since we are here, the people what there. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Eh, are waiting to hear the vocals. Kapasina ma drama. Tell us about the the secret. Karaspineza ka gari kweere kana kuti chagaiti. You mean the voice? Yes. I think everybody is created with their natural voice, <laughs> and then maybe it goes with the rehearsals and ah. the exposure. You then are able to change tones and whatnot, but. I would love to feel, to believe that my talking voice is different from my singing voice. Yes, it is. It's very different. Hallelujah. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I, I'm going to sing a little, then you take it up. And, okay. Antiga. 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 Okay. So I like. Asinai Chesu. Oh, that song. Makandi Danda Kadai I thought we were duetting together. Okay, okay, so I was supposed to be keep to keep quiet. No, you can come in. I can't. That song is too nice. Who wrote the song? My aunt, Katie Madind. And then sister to your husband. Yes. They then my husband also did a lot of edits, put in some words, you know, instrumentals and whatnot. But it was it's a it's a deep song really? where you are asking God, what is man that you're mindful of mm -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. uh, you can't sing that song and not cry. Not kuchema namu, kuto chenda marini love chayu. Sapu not wedding. Okay, so let's do it. Okay. I, I'll I'll start then you 
you okay. shut down the okay. segment okay. with some nice okay so i say night jesu ma candida nda kada ise take it away nemo shadza ndinato mukandi tora mukandi tawenyu Asina itenzi wangu Zamuno ita sinondi chemeza Maka ita mudikine kuda kwangu Mukandi fira pamuchinji kwa Goreri ema kasheza zitarangu Roparenyu rikandire nere Rukarere nyasha shumondi itewera Moyo wangu uzere ne kutenda Goreri ema kasheza zitarangu no pare nyu ni kandi lerera rugare nenya sha sino di chevera moyo wa usene kutenda this is the highest praise Well, unfortunately, we've reached the final segment for this week's edition of the Highest Praise, uh -huh. coming from those amazing vocals. Thank I, you. That in Iowa. And it. Iowa. So shut it down. Let's talk about the plans. Mm -hmm. What's happening? You've dropped uh, this buzzing mm -hmm. album right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember at Arnold, 10 p.m., mm -hmm. people were still seated Wait. in the HICC. Ish. And when you guys came on, it wow. was explosive. Thank you. You've managed to sustain relevance from one project to the other Ish. with real stuff, authentic stuff you write. Who's writing these songs? And when can we look forward to a new project from you guys? Three quarters of our songs are being written by Pastor Gamaliel. Mm. But we do have, uh, I write some. Okay. Um, he, like I said before, he's a person who builds legacies in Unlock's Destiny. Mm. So he allows people to even bring their songs, write songs. But then if you bring a song, don't expect it to be you singing it. Because yeah. he will listen and hear So um, I would say he's the main writer, mm -hmm. but there are a lot of writers in the choir. Wow. And by the grace of God, we are having our first ever season one Jesus Global Impact Live DVD recording in the UK. Hey. Yes. Hey. That's God, hey. my guy. Yeah. Tell me about it. Why the UK? Were you always dreaming of trying to also grow? Because... You are moving from glory to glory, from glory to Harare to UK. We have been, Pastor Gamayo give got a word from God that we are supposed to do global impact. Mm. It was in 2015 or 16. Wow. Since then, it is manifesting this year. Mm. So we're doing it not because uh, of anything that's unusual, but it's a calling to go into the globe. Ish. So by the grace of God, God just decided UK first because somebody decided to bring us in and sponsor and do this and that. Mm. So um, we are going to go there on the 20th, uh, on the 13th of July. Okay. Yes, uh, it's the 13th, right? Yeah, the gig is on the 13th of July. Okay. Then um, before that, here in Zimbabwe, in Harare, we are doing, um, a concert. Okay. Uh, uh, Farai TV is doing the concert, uh, so they invited Jovu Praise. We're doing 29 uh, September, June, June, June 29 June. Okay. So we're doing it past seven um, arts. Okay. I think it's going to be amazing because 
we are we are going with the vibe of thanking God for what he has not done yet mm -hmm. which is July okay. and we know that when we come back from the UK mm -hmm. we're going to be giving people new music mm. very new music are you featuring any artists in the UK we also don't know only mm. the, the the EP knows hey, hey, hey. <laughs> this is June yeah, during July yes wow what happens is whatever he decides we will know then mm. it's not our business our business is to write our songs sing them we uh we do what we're instructed to we're do exactly so if in the UK uh, Leicester uh -huh. in Leicester yes okay. uh, it's going to be amazing can't wait wonderful mm -hmm. wonderful so the whole team is actually going to be not necessarily um it's going to be a selected few mm -hmm. and um mainly just because of the budgets yes. if if god would allow us to go with the whole team mm -hmm. that would be amazing mm -hmm. but we know that time will come true mm -hmm. coming back to where you started mm -hmm. with those hurdles that you had to maneuver with all those challenges that you had to believe god for a breakthrough to say yes we failed in the stadium we failed in the studio but we still believe god mm -hmm. there's someone right there who's watching who's got a passion to start a movement like joyful praise like zen praise you name the choirs like mm -hmm. vocal bass mm -hmm. what's your advice to that individual tell them right there in the book of Ecclesiastes, there's a scripture that is talking about sharpening your ex. Because if you're going to use a blunt ex, you will take time mm. to cut a tree or to do whatever. This is something that Pastor Gamaliel, my husband, taught me. Sharpen your ex in your level. Mm. That means move in your own direction. Run your race. The way JPC grew up and got boosted up may not be the way you will but trust in the process that God is going to keep you in mm. because there's nothing successful that comes without a fight. Just yesterday, Pastor Gamaliel was teaching about standing in the Lord, Come stand on. firm. Mm. So sometimes God takes us through pain to see if you're going to stand mm. because if you're going to do this <laughs> music industry thing, criticism will come True. lies will be spoken attacks will come are you going to stand mm. so your house has to be built on solid ground which is jesus so that when the wind comes you won't be uprooted you may be shaken but never uprooted so run your race and move in the plan of god mm. but usually god uses those lies as our stepping stone wow. so it's now it comes as an advantage interesting interesting <laughs> well there you have it there's encouragement but as tradition we can't let you go without telling us your top five videos in no particular order wow yes wow. tashika five pie i don't like the boys but we have five <laughs> my video but i'm 20,000 artists i'm not there now my local food but you don't go doubt you go in deck and it was a man who's with one of them and it didn't be able to tell you a jpc please as no shatter I love Jehovah Way. Hey, Jehovah Way. I used to sing the song with my mom at you church like. because me and my mom were in the priest. Ah, yes. So okay. at, at church, it was Which either church? me, Awake Grace Ministries. Ah. Mm. So at church, it was either me or my, or my mom who was leading that song. Ah, yeah. The reason why I love that video in that song ah. is because i'm leading it i would ask god for a verse it never came Aish. until the day on the stage verse stage my husband is a very spontaneous individual he loves improvisations Oh. Yes. So if you can write, that's what he does all the time. Even the way he writes his songs uh. is improvisation. As long as they sound, it will come. Nice. That's why God gives him songs. He doesn't write songs. Wow. Anyway, back to Jehovah Way. Jehovah Way, I love it because it reminds me of... <laughs> why are you laughing? I, I could preach about that guy. Uh. If you noticed, I started singing it by funeral when I was, give, when I was burying my mom. Wow. Don't think, uh, don't feel bad for me. I feel amazing. Do you know why? Because wow. that was the day I knew that 
God owns people. That yes. was my mom, but that's God's child. Wow. So I praised God because I was thinking, my mom has finished the race. What am I doing? Mm. So instead of moaning and crying and hitting myself on the floor, let me just praise him and finish. So when we then did it, even up to now, it it gives me joy. It gives me praise inside of me. Mm. Then I love Unogo ah. Okay, fine. <laughs> Let's hear Jehovah way. And number two? And number two, I love um, Unogo Chemi. Mm, why? Mainly because we did it before and it did not hit the waves it did. Again. That's one song that tells me that a song can mature wow. and still can be redone. Wow. Never throw away your song. Mm. If it didn't work this season, it may work the next. Yeah, mm -hmm. so yes. Number three, what do we have? Um, hi. On oh, number three, I love. Oh, you said local, okay. Um, Pindirai. Yeah. With I did it with unveiled. Pindirai, <laughs> unveiled. Pindirai, 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 Pindirai. Pindirai. Number four? Um, number four, number four. I love um, Shingisai Suluma Nanas. Nanas. Yes. <laughs> Last but not least, coming in at number five. Fungisa is a cover pan. I used to sing that song when I was five. 
we all used to sing that song. Ah, praise God. I got my banger, guys. Yes. Go ahead, my chat toppers. Yes. Fugisai Zagawa Pano shutting it down with. Well, Mfundisi, thank you so much for coming thank through. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. I'm sure people will be really excited because they were asking for you to come and you I came hope. through and you were really, really, really giving us positive vibes. Thank you. We wish you all the best. Amen. 29 June, mm -hmm. Seven Arts, mm -hmm. as well as in July, mm -hmm. as you record your first global mm -hmm. DVD. Yes. Thank you so much, Mfundis, for coming Thank through. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you. Well, that's all we have for you folks this week. Uh, keep watching in our TV. Until next week, we say this is the highest praise. Bye-bye.